The 2019 AFL season is set to bring several young players the opportunity to take their game to another level. While 2018 saw the likes of Collingwood's Jaden Stevenson, Eagle Willie Riley and the Tiger Jaden Short cement themselves within their side's best 22, the following 18 players have the potential to stand up this season. These are the young players at your club set to take the next step in their AFL careers. Adelaide, Jordan Gallucci. A first round draft pick in 2016, Gallucci finished last season strongly, kicking four goals from 17 disposals in the Crows' round 23 win over Carlton. Having spent most of his time up forward in his first 17 games, Gallucci is not only primed to become a permanent part of Adelaide's 22, but also get greater midfield minutes in 2019. He averaged 11.6 disposals and close to a goal a game in 2018, but expect to see those numbers rise throughout the impending season. Brisbane, Zach Bailey Another player to finish 2018 in fine form, Bailey gathered 20 disposals and kicked two goals in the Lions round 23 clash against eventual Premier's West Coast. Set to have his first full preseason after being taken with pick 15 in 2017, expect Bailey to nail down a spot either across half forward or in the midfield as he becomes a key part of this up-and-coming Brisbane side. Carlton, Matthew Kennedy Watch out! The former Giant managed 12 games in an injury-interrupted season last year and having successfully recovered from ankle surgery, looks set to have a big impact in 2019. Kennedy averaged 17 disposals in his first season as a Blue, including a career-high 29 disposal performance against the Hawks in Round 18. With 31 games now under his belt, the former Pick 13 appears poised to show the footy world exactly what he's capable of. Collingwood, Braden Sear The 21-year-old missed just the one game in 2018 after making his debut against the Suns in round 15, and looks to be on the verge of taking the next step in his development. The tough 191cm midfielder was one of Collingwood's best in its qualifying final loss to West Coast with 26 disposals and 17 contested possessions. Sear also had the most disposals of any pie to half time in last year's decider. The arrival of Dane Beams will make competition for midfield spots tough, but expect Sear to rise to the challenge and make his 2019 campaign an impressive one. Essendon, Aaron Francis After averaging more than 13 disposals and six marks across the last five games of 2018, Francis appears set to announce himself as one of the competition's best intercept defenders this season. Deemed by champion data to have the best relative rating, a metric that compares all players of the same age who play the same position, of any player under 23 in the competition in 2018. Francis is said to have his best run at a consistent AFL campaign as he nears the end of his first ever full preseason. Fremantle, Griffin Logue The 
The 2016 first round draft pick didn't get to make an AFL appearance in 2018 after foot and ankle troubles restricted him to just three waffle matches. After impressing in 13 games in 2017, the West Australian is now on track to complete a full pre-season with a spot in the Dockers' back six up for grabs following the retirement of veteran Michael Johnson. Expect to see the 20-year-old intercepting the opposition's forward forays as the third tall down back in 2019. G. Long, Quinton Narkel Narkel is set to be a crucial factor as the Cats look to increase their pressure inside 50, while he also appears ready to spend a good chunk of the upcoming season as an inside midfielder. The 21-year-old recovered from a knee reconstruction to make his debut last year, kicking two goals from 14 disposals and laying six tackles in an impressive round 15 display against the Bulldogs. He should add significantly to his six AFL games in 2019. Gold Coast Suns, Josh Corbett The Suns' mature age recruit is likely to slot straight into the starting lineup in what should be a big season at AFL level for the 22-year-old. A mid-sized forward, Corbett kicked 22 goals and averaged 7.6 marks from nine games for FOFL side Werribee in 2018. He has the capability to have the immediate impact the fledgling Gold Coast needs him to. GWS Giants, Aiden Bonar The Giants' first-round pick managed four games towards the end of last season, impressing as he averaged close to 11 disposals and three marks along with five goals. With a full preseason under his belt, the versatile 19-year-old is set for greater opportunity up forward and through the midfield as the Giants cover the departures of Rory Lobb and Dylan Scheel. Hawthorne James Cousins Cousins broke through for three and four matches in 2017 and 2018 respectively, but looks set for considerably more senior action after Tom Mitchell suffered a horrific broken leg. He averaged 25 possessions. Five tackles and four marks at FOFL level last season and was named by Hawks forward Jack Gunston as one of three players likely to step up in the Brownlow medalist's absence. Melbourne, Tom Sparrow While the Demons boast the number one ranked list according to champion data heading into 2019, recent draftee Sparrow is a smoky to make an impact in 2019. The strong-bodied midfielder, who's been compared to Patrick Dangerfield by retired Demon Bernie Vince, has caught the eye of onlookers at preseason training with his contested work and ability to play through the middle or across halfback. While he'll have to break into arguably the best midfield in the competition, expect to see the 18-year-old season opportunity this year. North Melbourne, Ed Vickers Willis Kangaroo Vickers Willis appears almost certain to have a breakthrough season in 2019. The 22 year old impressed in seven games down back last year before a PCL injury cut his campaign short. With no timeline on fellow defender Majak Dawes' return to football, a spot in defense is there for the taking and expect Vickers Willis to grab the opportunity with both hands. Port Adelaide, Todd Marshall
The 20-year-old impressed early last year with nine goals from the opening four games of the season, before taking personal lead from the club. Marshall returned in round 13 for just the three further matches, but could be set for a big 2019 alongside spearhead Charlie Dixon up forward. Expect the 198 centimeters forwards mobility and strength overhead to come to the fore in his third year at AFL level. Richmond, Connor Menadou. While the 2017 premiers appear to have an experienced and settled lineup, Menadou is one who could be set to finally break into the Tigers' side. The 22-year-old will be hoping for his most consistent season after 33 games in four years. And with Rhys Conka heading to the Dockers during the free agency period, a spot on the wing or across half-back could be Menadou's to lose. He averaged just 12 disposals from five matches for the Tigers in 2018, but expect that number to increase with greater consistency. St Kilda, Ben Long After a broken metatarsal in his right foot restricted him to just 10 games in 2018, expect 21-year-old Long to make the most of his good health with a breakout season in 2019. The midfielder forward was recognized with the Round 5 Rising Star nomination last year after 15 disposals, 8 tackles and a goal in the same straw against Greater Western Sydney. He's set to play a much more prominent role in 2019 with a full preseason behind him. Sydney Swans, Ryan Clark While Clark already has 40 games to his name, the move north to Sydney could be the impetus for taking his game to the next level. He averaged close to 20 disposals and 5 contested possessions from 19 games for North Melbourne last year. He'll be hoping to follow in the footsteps of Swans co-captain Josh Kennedy, who flourished into an A-grader after shifting from the Hawks. The 21-year-old is also set for ample time in the midfield after the departure of Triple All Australian Dan Hanabry. West Coast Eagles, Jake Waterman After 13 goals from 16 AFL appearances in 2018, the 191 centimeters forward looks primed to the fill the void left by retired veteran Mark Lacroix. He received the Round 6 Rising Star nomination last year for his two-goal. 14 disposal performance and should be set for a far more consistent 2019. Competition for spots up forward will be tough as the likes of Jack Petrixell and the versatile Oscar Allen push their cases, but expect Waterman to go to another level this season. Western Bulldogs, Tim English With question marks lingering over Tom Boyd's spot in the side, English is set to start the season as the Bulldogs' number one ruckman. He played just seven games in 2018, but expect to see the 205 centimeters Beanstalk make the most of ample opportunity early in the season and bed down his spot. Fiercely competitive and highly rated. The 21-year-old is set to develop quicker than most big men and could be in store for a breakthrough campaign after averaging 13 disposals, 4.7 marks and 13.7 hitouts in 2018.